another thing when you're when you're going into college that one subject that you're thinking you seriously will never need again and you genuinely believe that because you don't see how it could possibly be applied to your life that might be true it might also not be true i hate writing <laughs> I, I did when i was younger i always have but i chose it as my career not because I can be okay with writing, but because I love the art of screenplay. I love movies. I love being on set. I I can write. I don't enjoy doing it, but I can. And I love the whole aspect in the field of working on it. So I do that. So me being incredibly bad at spelling and grammar, ignoring that in high school, has led to a lot of problems in college when I turn in an average of, what is it, 15 pages of script every week or so, and that's that's not even clown, um, covering the at least four drafts of pre-planning pages that you create because you have to invent a story, invent the world around the story, incorporate a lesson, incorporate a character that you needs have. to learn that lesson, and all of this... <laughs> There's a lot more that goes into writing a story than you think there is. Respect writers. <laughs> Respect anybody who writes a, any story of any kind. It is hard. It is hard. I mean... But... Yeah, and definitely talk to your professors. They... They've taught this class before. No matter how many times <laughs> you, you want to tell yourself it's their fault, they don't know... They've taught this class before. Now, you have not taken it before. Who knows what's supposed to be going on in this class? Well, to be fair, there are some professors that suck. There are some that should not be teaching, and some that should just retire and should disappear off the face of the earth. Well, but that's only because. Well, that's, okay, I, I would exception. say that that is incredibly rare because someone that you might deem as being someone who shouldn't be a teacher, someone else might love for the way that they, that they teach. Remember, everybody learns differently. Mm hmm. So okay. maybe maybe they're perfect for someone else. Maybe they just do it the opposite that you do, and they don't know how to teach it the way that you need it taught. If three fourths of a class drops the teach drops the class, there's something wrong with. The oh yeah, that's a whole nother. <laughs> you that was that my shit, bio you class. You, just, you, just you run. run. You just, just if you hear that about a teacher, <laughs> run. Get out. <up. laughs> and we're not. And again, we're not trying to scare you about college. What we're trying to say is that college is work. Unlike in high school, where they coddle you. Because at our high school, because we both went to the same high school and just down where we, around we live, and I hated high school with a passion. That's also because I'm gay. We're both gay. We're lovely. We're lovely, glorious little facts. Rainbows, <laughs> shitty rainbows everywhere. But the thing is, in high school, kids were cruel. And because kids were cruel, we didn't have a good experience. And because of that, we stopped caring about our education. The downside was, when we were in college, first intro, I had to be in a lower English class. 090 to 091, and then I'm in 101, and now I'm in 102. Only because I stopped caring in high school about my education. And that was unfortunate. Only now do I look back, if I could yell at myself, say, get your ass in the gear and do what you need to do. Because... I'm paying for it now financially. College isn't cheap. You pay financially. You pay with your time. Yeah, it, it's more your than sleep, it's more than a little bit eyes. of money or work it up. It's it's you spent a lot of time on that class. Even if you drop the class right away, I guarantee you spent at least eighteen hours on that class, anyways. Yeah. Plus, however many hundred dollars we spent on that class. And that's 